What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Nate and Steve here from Out of the Basement, bringing you our September Blu-ray update. We also are doing a giveaway. We took a month off because we didn't have uh, any codes to give out. But uh, this time, of course, we're going to be doing a digital HD giveaway for Starship Troopers, Bride of Frankenstein, and the big one, It Comes at Night. So you three movies. We got three codes to give away. All you got to do, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below uh, which title you would like. Without further ado, Steve, I got a lot of Blu-rays this month, so I'm going to go first. Okay. I'm going to okay. go first. Um, so yeah. f right off the bat here, what something I just purchased today, and this is the Bride of Frankenstein the Alex Ross uh, artwork steelbook Best Buy exclusive here. This is going to be one of the digital codes that we will be giving away here. Classic movie. If you've never seen it, now's your chance. Uh, love this artwork. Alex Ross just makes amazing artwork. Most of you probably know him from Marvel and DC. Does a lot of art for them, but they did a bunch of these classic monster covers, but I only got Bride of Frankenstein. Uh, just because they're so damn expensive. Seventeen ninety nine is it's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. You know Isn't there usually another person here? No. What's up guys? Justin from out of the basement here. The fuck are you Where did you come from? I'm here to show you my Blu ray buys of this uh... month. What kind of Blu ray did you get? Well guys, I got one Blu-ray this month, and that is It Comes at Night. That my... shitty movie? Ugh! Nothing my... even came at night. Nothing even came at night. I don't get it. My favorite movie of 2017. However, school has started, so that's when I hole up in my room and do nothing. So I've been going on a lot of hunts. So this is the only Blu-ray that I felt like I had to go out and buy. So, with that being said, we'll see you guys later. All right, uh, Steve. What was your first Blu-ray pickup for September? Uh, first one is um, the late great Robin Williams in One Hour Photo. Um, it has been many a moons since I watched this movie. Um, I think I saw it when I was a kid. It's another one of those movies I shouldn't have been watching as a child. <laughs> I think I saw it. Uh, yeah, no, I definitely did as a, as a kid. I found this at Big Lots for $3, so I couldn't say no. Nice. Um, so, kind of a blind buy, sort of, but yeah. happy I found it for your only 3 bucks. because usually their blue is your 5 which is still a good <laughs> price, but three's even better, so. I was just thinking that. For me. Uh, next up, I've got a real shitty movie here, but it was a three ninety nine at Disc Replay, and... It's the Steelbook, and I sort of collect the Steelbook versions. I have a few of them, and that's Resident Evil Apocalypse. Terrible movie. Uh, probably the best of the franchise, but it's still not good. Um, however, I have the first and third movie Steelbook Blu-ray, so when I found this for $3.99, I no thought, thought I would just add it to the collection. The price, you know, 4 bucks, I can do it. Big fan of Resident Evil, the video games, so... There you go. Uh, next up, Steve. Uh, next one, I found another steal of a deal. Um, and in a very surprising place, Friday the 13th, Part 2, uh, I got this at FYE for, get this, two ninety nine. Nice. Great price. Crazy. I, I couldn't tell you the last time I bought anything from FYE because they're so insanely expensive. And usually it's just the used stuff that is reasonably priced. But. Yeah, this was actually brand new in the shrink. It was five dollars marked down to two ninety nine. So I was like, "Yeah, absolutely, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that up." I was looking around for part one and part three, uh, couldn't come across those. But you know, still, this is still great. You know, for the two ninety nine or and and my plan is with these movies and, and the whole franchise. Because the whole collection on Blu-ray is out of print and so expensive, I'm going to get what I can on Blu-ray, which is the first three, and then the fourth one's actually coming out on Blu-ray as well sometime. 
and then the rest just you know on DVD. But very happy I found this for such a great price at at, at FYE especially. I was very shocked. So nice. Very happy with that. Uh, next up for me and you as well. Yep. We both got the new 4K Starship Troopers release. Which go ahead and show the back there because I keep my little cards on mine. Uh, Best Buy exclusive pop art steel book. Love. I usually don't like the pop art, but this is great. Uh, but this cover is fucking awesome. Absolutely love the way this looks. It says the only good bug is a dead bug. Amazing. Certainly. Uh, better than that shitty, shitty CG movie that we reviewed not too long ago. But, uh, yeah. I would uh, caution people that are fans of this movie. Uh, we haven't seen the other Starship Trooper live-action movies. Uh, but anybody that, that loves this movie and decides to jump right into Traitor of Mars, just don't watch it because it honestly kind of ruins this a little bit. Because they repeat such iconic lines over and over and over. It's like, remember this? Remember the first movie? Remember how good it was? And you're just like, stop. Please stop. Because, uh, like I said, little, ruins a little bit of the... the uh, charm? Yeah, the charm. So, uh, Since that was a two-for-one special, I'll go ahead and do... Um, I guess I'll just do some rapid fire, since you only got one left. Uh, Hobo with a Shotgun. Heard a lot of great things about this movie. Uh, decided to just give it a blind buy. It was a 599er, but uh, just looks like a classic. Well, it's not a classic movie, but it's like a modern grindhouse movie, sort of made to made in the modern day. It's from 2011. So there's that. Of course, had to pick up It Comes at Night. Fantastic movie. The best movie of 2017. I don't give a shit if nothing came at night because you know what? If you paid attention to the movie, you would know that something does come at night. You just didn't understand it. Taking a bullet. Taking a bullet for the team. Ooh! Friday the 13th, the shit remake, the killer cut. Justin and I have been watching all of the Friday the 13th movies, and I didn't own this on DVD or anything like that, so I picked it up. Uh, just so Justin and I can watch it. So, yeah. Uh, next up here. Wow, you only got one left. Yeah, so just go ahead. Go for it. All right. The Final Girls, which is a pretty funny movie. I actually enjoyed this quite a bit. Um, got it for a great price. A five, $5 five dollar pickup. Adam DeMamp. Yeah, your favorite guy. And he, workaholics. And man. he acts like himself in the movie. What do you know? Shock. Uh, that was probably my least favorite part of the movie because <laughs> he's not in—he's in the movie for a very brief period of time. But I was pretty annoyed by his performance because I just don't like his style of comedy very much. But uh, great love letter to '80s slashers, specifically Friday the Thirteenth. Um, and then, of course, a five ninety nine er from Disc Replay. I was so fucking happy. Split on Blu-ray. Great movie, M. Night Shyamalan. Absolutely love everything about this movie. The performances are great. James McAvoy kills it. Love the tie-in to a certain movie, which I won't spoil if you haven't seen it. Um, but by now, you probably know. And if you don't know, welcome back to society because you've been living under a rock. Your final <laughs> pickup. Uh, final one, and uh, now the three of us here at Out of the Basement... Uh, own it. Uh, I was so happy to find it because when I bought the Starship Troopers Blu-ray, I was also on the hunt for this as well, and I figured I had totally missed my window, and they did not have it when I got the Starship Troopers Blu-ray, and that is Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2 Steelbook. Ooh. I did take a hit for it. I paid full price. Uh, what is it? $34.99? $34.99. Uh, rough, but I knew... That I would never get a chance to really find this again. Um, Randomly just one copy sitting yeah. there. Um, you know, who knows if maybe I could come across it on a resale, but that's going to take so long. And Considering the fact that I've... Because there is a Best Buy exclusive steelbook for season one, and I've never, ever seen it before. Guarantee the same thing will happen to the sequel, so... Yeah. 
good on you to find it and you know it sucks to pay the full price but sometimes you got to do it yeah my last blu-ray is a criterion a, a criteria how does Cri- it Criterion. Hi, Criterion. Hi, Mike. I know. You're, hopefully, you're watching. Uh, and that is smash that dislike. Smash that. Don't do that. <laughs> Give us a like. Uh, and that is Chronos from Guillermo del Toro. This is um, the one of the, his earlier films from 1993. I got The Devil's Backbone, uh, and I liked that movie a lot. And then one of my uh, friends was actually selling his copy, and so I was like, hey. I'll fucking take it right off your hands. So I paid 12 bucks for this. I think that's more than reasonable. I haven't had a chance to watch this movie yet, but I'm very excited. Love Guillermo del Toro. So that's it. Of course, we already talked about the giveaway. Don't forget to enter in that if you are interested. Otherwise, if you just enjoy our content, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Nate, and I've been joined with Steven. This was our September Blu-ray update. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time on Out of the Basement.